Hey, what's up guys? Phil Ebner with VideoSchoolOnline.com and I have a new friend. This is Zora, my new kitty. If you've been paying attention to the blog, you've probably seen uh, some posts about her uh, lately. But, um, and you could also visit some, see some, check out some great YouTube videos of Zora at thescratchinpost.com. That's scratching without the G at the end, thescratchinpost.com. All right, so I got a great question in my email box a few weeks ago, and I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long to respond, but from Sasha in uh, Brooklyn, she asked uh, a few great questions about video creation, about what editing programs to use, what the differences are, and I thought I'd go one by one through each of those questions and respond. So Sasha, thank you for the question, and I hope I can give you a great response right now. So. Her first question uh, was, or she says, I really like your style and your vision in the videos posted on your site. The idea of sharing stories grabs my heart, but I'm not sure where to start. I see that you offer After Effects, Final Cut Pro, all of those programs are for adding effects to existing footage, correct? All right, so you're halfway there. So there's different video editing programs, and then there's programs built for doing special effects and motion graphics. So Final Cut Pro is Apple's version of their, it's their editing, some basic video editing software. Adobe Premiere Pro is Adobe's editing, video editing software. Sony Vegas is another one, um, and Avid is another ed video editing program that uh, a lot of professionals use in the film industry. So all of those, Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro, two of which I have courses on, are for basic video editing. So that's for, you know, when you have, you go out and shoot a documentary or a promo video or whatever, and you have video from your video camera, and you import it into your computer, and you just wanna cut images together, cut that video together into a sequence. Now those video pro editing programs also have you know, effects and titles, you can edit music, you can add so all sorts of, of filters to all sorts of different types of footage, but those are basically for video editing. After Effects, on the other hand, is for motion graphics and specifically special effects. So let me just show you on my uh, Vimeo page, I have a few different sample videos. So if you look at my editing or my trip to the Philippines video, you'll see that this is playing with all this different footage that I took in the Philippines. I edited this in Adobe Premiere Pro, as did I these little mini documentaries. But a video like this, this animation with text, I just edited this, created this in After Effects. So see the motion graphics, the little animations. I was able to create a lot of these shapes within After Effects. Others of the shapes I um, created in Adobe Illustrator, which is another course that I offer. And I also use Photoshop in some of these images as well. Um, so you, you see text coming on the screen, different motion graphics. So this is After Effects. Now you can, can combine After Effects and uh, Premiere Pro when you're using animations like this or titles or, or other motion graphics on top of your videos. So that's why it's good to know both Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. All right, so I hope that answered that first question. You also asked what is the difference between Cinema 4D and Maya and the Adobe programs? So Cinema 4D and Maya are very similar. They're built for editing 3D animations. So Maya has been a long-standing program for 3D animators that they've used. Cinema 4D is kind of a new, newer software, but it's more user-friendly. Now, I actually personally don't know Cinema 4, how to use Cinema 4D, and I'm just starting to learn Maya. I teach a class in Maya, but it's actually taught by a professional 3D animator uh, from the other side of the world. Um, so those programs are great if you want to start learning 3D animation. Think Pixar animations. 
Adobe doesn't have a 3D animation software uh, right now. Basically, they have After Effects and Premiere Pro for video, ed for video creation. Um, and as I mentioned, After Effects is for motion graphics. Adobe Premiere Pro is for video editing. Another question from Sasha is, uh, how do you approach your work? Do you shoot yourself? Can making a small, say, informative video be a one-man job? Definitely. You know, with the equipment that they have nowadays, you can go out with a full lighting kit, camera package, and audio recording uh, package all in a backpack. Uh, it's really awesome. And that's how I actually do a lot of my personal work. I uh, just go out on my own with you know, my camera, my lavalier microphones, simple lighting, and I create my videos. Now, I love working with a team, but if you are, um, you know, trying to make an independent uh, career out of this, you know, it's good to know, to have the skills in all of those different areas of cinematography, of interviewing, of story creation, of post-production. So, yes. Informative videos can definitely be done by yourself, uh, but it always helps to have someone else there uh, with you, especially for the pre-production. Um, if you're making you know, a, a video for a business or something, you're gonna need a point person to help you with the idea, to help you schedule, make sure that all the right people are there when you need them to be interviewed or whatever like that. Uh, it can be really stressful if you're trying to coordinate all of that stuff by yourself. So, I hope that that kind of has clarified some of the vision that you are talking about. But let me just recap and hopefully this will clear things up. If you're trying to become a video creator and you need to learn some skills in the world of video creation, here are my steps. So first, uh, for video editing, you should learn Adobe Premiere Pro. It's kind of the premier, no pun intended, uh, video editing software for not only amateurs, but also a lot of professionals in the video world right now. And if most of, like most of us, all of our videos are just gonna end up on the web somewhere, not being shown in film festivals or in theatrical release. So editing video in Premiere Pro is perfect for that. So learn Adobe Premiere Pro so you can get your basic video editing skills down. Because you can still create magnificent pieces just within Adobe Premiere Pro. You can even animate text and do all sorts of effects uh, that you would like to do, know how to do. Then once you get situated with that, learn Adobe After Effects. After Effects will take your video quality from this level to this level and uh, that the skills that you learn in After Effects are really marketable and um, I can see it with myself that people are always really impressed with the, the work that I put out and lately I'm using After Effects in almost all of my projects. And After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro really go hand in hand and work well together. Final Cut Pro, um, so the course that I teach Final Cut Pro is actually the last version, which is the last professional version. Final Cut Pro, they came, Apple came out with a new version, Final Cut Pro X, but it kind of reverted to more of a prosumer consumer model, and it's not as good for full-blown video editing. So if you're interested in Final Cut Pro, you can also take my course, but honestly, I would say start with Adobe Premiere Pro then go to After Effects. And as for just shooting, getting, you know, learning how to shoot, be a video creator, just get out there, start shooting, and have fun with it. Because if you're not having fun, then you're not gonna learn and you're not gonna wanna grow in this field. Sasha, thank you so much for the question. I hope I answered it as well as you wanted me to. And if you have any more questions, please comment down below, shoot me a message or email me at videoschoolonline at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.